This matchup has been going on for several conferences already. We expect them to go hard at each other, Juan, simply because there's that uh, desire to make it into the finals, knowing that uh, wala na nga yung, uh, the king is dead. Long live the king. San Miguel Beer, after five years, is, is out. JB, uh, Justin Brownlee. I have my own JB beside uh -huh. me, si Juan Banal. Pero nag, uh, nandun yung dalawang imports. But we were talking about it before this game started. If they exchange baskets, because he rides on that momentum. Pag maganda ka niyang laro. Nice pass underneath. Tenorio finding Scotty Thompson. Moving without the ball. And one of the best. Paser Amer running the other way. The trailer, Cliff Hodge, takes the contact. Basket is good for Cliff. One nagpapa init mo natasi Cliff Hodge. That's how he started his run against San Miguel Beerman. He was. Where would they be without him? You don't really notice the things that he does uh, unless you're really watching. But I like that matchup also. Aquinto and Mariano, a very un undersized power forward. And even they get the job done. They play and the things that they do for their team. And they've also evolved here in the league. Eh? They've played differently in the collegiate level. But when they come here, they're going to play different laro. That's right. Well, this guy's another guy who... A little bit more on these guys. Uh, Tenorio, Japet, those uh, veterans. Of course, Scotty Thompson is already a veteran. Oh, Reyna Lugnatan getting to the spot with a nice feed. New scoring. Jumper from LA Tenorio is off target, but Japet will chase it down. So another chance. Scotty will line it up from three. Danger. Yep. And he's averaging at least one made three pointer per game. So naka isa na yan sa listahan. Pag dumami na yan, ibig sabihin, hindi mo ginagawa yung trabaho mo na patangin ito sa Scotty from the perimeter. And uh, all 42 or 43 mga po. 43 years old ba yun? Question mark na lang, 40 something na 40 lang. 40 something. Para, kasi with the way he plays, you won't even think he's 40 That's plus. Right. I agree, I agree. There's a drive and a foul on this guy. So, yung nakalaban nila sa finals in last season's third conference itong Ginebra. But the early injury, doom, the bolts. Yeah. And he's just a quiet player, very calm, very steady. You barely see him uh, emotional for anything, and yet, grab your confiance. That's what I'm saying about Aljon Mariano. Just standing and watching anything that's happening in offense or in defense. They make sure that they're active and they're involved. Alain Maliksi, in all the way, nanya. Can you know, find his shots? Pero nagbimintis sa shot, nagbimintis eh. Hodge waited for Newsom. Find it in the beginning. Balik kay Hodge, rolling to the basket. And Cliff Hodge, a familiar sight, hitting the deck once again. Overthrowing the defending champions. So execution really would be key. Whoever team executes better wins. Gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Nice block mula kay Raymond Almazan. Pero andun si Prince Caperot to clean that one up. And yeah. This team, samantalang Meralco naman, very highly defensive team sila. They take pride in the fact that they defend well. Pero yun lang, itong Prince Caperot. <laughs> He's been nip and tuck, Dikita and Labanan, and a couple of baskets to stretch it to four at the end of one. Here, yeah, dahil wala yung chapit agila, pero may paundo in almazan sila on the floor. Second quarter brought to us by Cobra Plus Vitamin C, Nakasa Protection Cobra, the number one energy drink. Look at the zone defense there. It's, it look, does it look familiar to you? Who played this kind of zone defense? Where in they're hiding the guards on the side. Miami, 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 Miami. So, so they have, yeah, Alto NBA Mariano, yep, and Jared Dillinger playing the top of the 2-3 zone, and then Stanley Pringle and Jeff Chan on the side for that 2-3. Alam mo, pag maganda kasi mga strategies, which is Pringle getting that baseline for a basket. They let it go, now they're going to a 1-3-1. TJ, down to Almazan against Capira. He's got the height advantage. Yeah, that, that's something you like to see from him. He's also hit some big shots for them. So, you confiance niya, must be sky high right now. Even against the San Miguel Beer, many hit big shots. Pringle to the hoop. Well, he's a guy who knows a little something about big shots. Stan, the man. That was against Travis Jackson. It uh, tining nani eh. sinukat ni Stanley. Kaya mo ko sa bilis pero kakayanin ba ako sa lakas? Ito po may slide drive si Maliksi at nakompleto niya yung hindi niya nagawa kanina. Now he got it off that glass. Um, kung kanino pa pa borto pero ang kotob ko sa Ginebra kung magpapalitan lang sila ng basket. Miracle will have to make stops and shots like that. Sadly, Pringle smelt blood. You have to disrupt it. And one of the ways to disrupt is to be physical with them, like body-to-body -body type of defense. What a shot mula kay Alain Maliksi. Just at the 24-second buzzer right before it. Now it's tipped away. Yeah. Turnover pa naging resulta. Pringle in the open court. Sasabayan ni Newsom. Finally, it falls into the hands of Zapit Aguilar, who made sure of that hoop, but 
malapit na makastop pa ang Meralco. Oh, Pero, the fact, <laughs> I mean, if you have Japet Aguilar that deep in the basket, that's going to be tough to stop. A jumper from Chris Newsom. Inasal. Pringle on the move. Finds the corner. Thompson, second three of the game for Scotty. That's a problem. If Scotty makes... Nakakalimutan nila na na-develop na yung press, ano? Can't leave him open anymore from there. Newsom, he likes that spot. Jumper up and in. And he's just waiting for the defense to make a mistake, no? They get out to LA, 8 on the shot clock. Pringle. Goes around, hook not open from three. Look at that skill. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> nagkuta na nga niya. Parang broken play na, hindi niya alam saan siya pupunta. Double team si Stanley. Binitawan ng double team. Sabi ni Stanley, ah, seryoso kayo? Papatirahin niyo ako sa three points? Okay, all day. Ano naman ang bawi ni Chris Newsom. Back-to-back uh, baskets from the keyhole. Another miss from three for LA. The lead pass to Baser. Can he get to it? Yes, he does. Oh, but look at that interference mula kay Scotty Thompson. But they take it away once again. Miralco on the run. Newsom to Baser. And this time, oh, it's blocked away by Scotty once again. And Scotty being a thorn in the side of Baser Amer. Two plays in a row thwarted by Thompson. Aljon Mariano on the run. Simping simple lang para kay Mariano. If you look at it, Pringle and Thompson have 22 points. For more than half, sila dalawa. Chapet, another two inside. That was just too easy to get a better chance of winning. Pull it to Scotty Thompson. Mahirapan si Newsom dun, and a lot of time was chopped off the shot clock. Bon Quinto. That won't fall. Not a single white shirt there for a possible offensive rebound. Thompson inside to JDV. They were looking for an offensive foul. Hodge felt he was shoved away. And another miss from Meralco. And these are the stretch of the bantayan ng Meralco. Yung mga hindi sila na score. Uh, and then Hinebra scoring at will on the other end. And uh, remember, na injury ano uh, first game against San Miguel. He only played a couple of minutes. He was able to bounce back to sa holding laban. He played 15 minutes uh, in the ouster of the defending champ. But there's another basket that the uh, effort chasing down. Uh, the fast break, ganyan ang pinapakita at ibinubuhos ng Scotty. Kung ganyan, mahihirapan itong Meralco. Finds a way to score on his own. Nawala yung ball movement ng Meralco Bolts. Oh, wow, look at Tolentino. Gotta put a body on him. For some reason, hindi nagmamadali. Relax, relax lang. Stand. That's how easy it is. It doesn't matter kahit ganun kalaki. Defender, yeah, flipped it off that glass, and the glass has been kind to Pringle in this game. He never, because they like moving without the ball. They've created so many mismatches in this ball game that makes it so easier for guys to score. And the is in there. That's a three that they badly needed. Had that missed, malabang long rebound. Takbo na naman tong Hinebra. Tolentino, confidence level is going up after the defensive rebound and putback. Pangalawang tref na ni Arvin yan. Here's Maliksi. Siya palang nakaka-score rito para sa Miralco in this quarter. That's two threes mula sa kanya. Scotty in the paint. Bouncing baseline to Tenorio. Balik kay Japet. Goes under the defense. Lots of time remaining in the third. Oh. Taken away. Harap-harapan yan. And Newsom will jam it home on the break. This is what we were talking about. Yung nakikipagpalitan ng mukhang depensa. They have to disrupt the offense of Etong Hinebra by pressuring. Here's Dillinger. He'll take the jumper and knock that one down. A four point swing. Meralco. But that's still a good start for Meralco. If you're Meralco, the fact that you're forcing Etong uh, Hinebra. But that's five three pointers. Four out of five. Ngayon, five out of five. Na. So, meron mo kang iba yung laro talaga. Pag iba yung sipa nung Aling Maliksi, pag Hinebra ang kalaban. So look at that once again. To Scotty. Not in a hurry at all are the Jin Kings. Then Tenorio suddenly burst of speed. There's no stopper underneath that basket for me. They just feel like they get to do whatever they want to do against this Meralco defense. Newsom. Gets a layup to go. Waiting for Tenorio. 
Tenorio creating some space, pass underneath. Scotty with the basket. Moving without the ball to perfection. Second time. Second time Miracle was caught napping with the same play. Norman Black binalikta rin to si Basser Amir who has yet to score. Pass inside and there you go. Basket para kay Basser. We barely hear him touching, getting touches for Meralco. And he's, before uh, Newsom st stepped up his offense, Rene Lugnatan in this conference, in the bubble, was the leading scorer. Again, the offense of Enebra, there's just waves and waves and waves. And right now, they're very much up by huge margin. Look at the quarter scoring. It's been Enebra by four, Enebra by eight, Enebra by five. And that's up to a 17-point lead. And then, nakahirin pa agad. Aljon Mariano na naman, stabilizer ng Ginebra. Iba yung, ano, iba yung kumpiyansa ng Ginebra sa bitaw nilang mga tira nila eh. Alam nilang sukat na sukat at kahit magbintis, okay lang. Ganito ang mga taas yung mga Five to shoot, corner, quinto, let the defender go by. Bumitaw ng tres, bitin. Sa rebound, napunta kay Hugnatan for that easy layup. So I was gonna say, if he misses that, <laughs> you're sure it's gonna go the other way. And Pringle! Look how quickly they turned that around. Just dance to the defense right there. The guys that they rely on, Almazan and Janarit Hodge, Pate. Lane Maliksi, who's played well. He's the lone bright spot actually overall, but there's Black. Christian mula sa kanya. Pringle to Aljon, the spin. Nasaraduan ang pinto ni Hodge, outside the stand, six to shoot. Stand on the move! Ano na freeze lahat eh. Oo nga eh. And you know, we haven't even flashed Coach Norman's accolades as well because that's why this is such an exciting series and because yung parehas na coaches, iba yung kalita niya. Well, that's a three off the glass mula kay Aaron Black, back-to-back threes for him. That was under the gun sapagat puputok na yung 24 seconds doon, so... Good connection from Aaron, but they'll need so much more. They left Caperal open, in lapit ng konti, jumper swishes through for Prince. Just so Arthur De La Cruz is in the game, and he's getting some burn right now. And you know he'll be a big part of this team moving forward if he can stay away from injuries. Arvin, another three on the way! Oh. Pangantana ni Arvin yan! He's in double digits in this game. Contagious! Napaka-contagious ng kumpiyansa and see what went wrong on different aspects as you were mentioning. Kaya kailangan nila pag-aralan niya itong Meralco Ball. Try to make a series of this in the next game. As Prince Caperal switches it through. And that hoop looks much, much bigger. Most of the time, what Scotty wants, Scotty gets. I mean, if he gets to have more minutes, probably, because he's well rested as a player. But uh, TNT used Jason Castro to the hilt. Yeah. He was the best of uh, version of yeah, himself, Ikanga, to use a Topics Robinson line. But at the end of the day, give the ball to Jason Castro, and, you know, sa lahat ng inikot, may Aran Pogoy ka, may Boy Eram ka, ang ending, Jason Castro. Final score na lang po inaantay natin dito sa game one ng serie. Best of five lamang po ito, and in the best of five series, eh, uh, series dito sa PBA, uh, the winner of game one has won about 70% of the time. So, mga rookies, sakit mo, ha? Ganado, ganado. Showing some spunk. We're in the last two minutes. Brought to us by Cobra Plus Vitamin C. Lakas at protection. Cobra, the number one energy drink and art. Minute and 20 na lang. Pinto, underneath to Hamito. The left shot underneath goes. Yeah, this is one of those guards na parang we and if you're Meralco, you need to make some adjustments, some things you need to fix right now, particularly on the rebounding department. And yung depensa nila, yun ang mga kailangan nila i-address among others. Paundo, a basket in the paint. Feeling too well lately, she's under the weather, so get, get well get soon. soon yeah. Ma, and uh, hope you get better. There's a basket from Balanza. And uh, an upside that we saw in Hinebra's game is their ability to get the rebounds. This is how they sealed the victory.